my 38 CNC uh, wood router. Um, I use this factory setup to cut this uh, out first. Um, this is something for my daughter. And as you can see, if you can look down in here, it has a step. Well, the uh, bushing came out of the out of this plastic housing, and it wallered out the the cut. And the cut is just it's not smooth at all. And I thought, well, I can do better than this. And you can, and you can see how it really just didn't do a smooth job whatsoever in my opinion um i know this is burl and it's it's hard you know i experimented before on pine and it it did it did a good job on pine but this this burl's i know it's it's harder and sure it there it, it was it, it, it was a struggle for it but i thought well i can do better so i did I bought this uh, trim router. It um, spins thirty thousand RPMs, and it it is bigger. It's uh, sixty millimeters, so I bought a sixty-five millimeter um, adapter and mounted this uh, new Z axis, and I had to buy the bearings separate. The bearings were thirty dollars. This was seventy-five dollars. It came with the bracket and the um, adapter. You can buy these adapters separate if you want to use the laser. Different lasers. Uh, you can buy it's the. They come in. Th these brackets come in different sizes. Um, 38, 52, I, I don't remember all the sizes, but you can buy different ones. So you can change, you know, um, really easy. You can change, just take these uh, four fasteners off and you can switch over to lasers. Um, but what's nice about this trim router is you don't have to buy a separate power pack. Uh, you just plug it into the wall and turn it on and away you go. Uh, it's quarter horsepower, and you can buy the different collets inserts for the different uh, the different bits. I have a four flute um, carbide cutter in there, and it will take and chunk out and take care of hardwood. I mean, like right now, I had. Uh, a, a learning experience here. <laughs> what happened is the issue with this is this stepper motor works backwards than this factory stepper motor. So I'm in the process of switching these over. Uh, so what I'm implying is uh, this factory setup I took the stepper motor off I am going to put it on this it seems like it'd be pretty straightforward just take these three allen screws out and pull this assembly off and switch the stepper motors over I'm not certain I haven't worked with stepper motors before um, I'm sure there's a software patch for the Arduino um, but I, I don't really have the time to take care of that right now. I think it'd be easier just to, I mean, I'm going to miss this function. I really like this, but, and maybe even there's a pin combination, but I just don't want to mess, mess up my, uh, uh, power pack or the Arduino. Uh, I don't want to mess anything up. It'd just be easier just to switch this. The servo out and be done with it uh, that's just how I am I can fix this I, ha I have already an idea how to fix this uh, this is a nice piece right here and uh, I can't tell you what it's gonna be my daughters have uh, access 
and this is a Christmas present, so I can't tell you what it's what it is. I wish I could, uh, but I can't. But um, it it's uh, something that goes in the kitchen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so I'm going to switch this out, finish this piece up. Uh, I'm, uh, now I'm going to have to add to this. Uh, but uh, this these two pieces are the same. Uh, they'll be the same. They'll just be different. So I have four daughters. I have to make four of these. And again, I'm not saying what they are. Uh, very unique. Uh, I've never seen one in the kitchen before. And it was just uh, my own idea. I'm making all my Christmas presents this year because I'm not buying nothing. I am not paying any taxes this year or next or if I can help it for a few years. Just the way I'm going to be. So, uh, uh, I'm going to use a piece of black walnut to finish this and hopefully make a pop. Uh, it's it's uh, I like the idea of the CNC because I can create all kinds of stuff now. Um, so, any, anyways, this is uh, just an idea. Uh, I don't. I'll, I'll post another video and let you know how this servo um, swap worked out. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry this is so long-winded, but uh, this this really was worth the money. This is thirty-two dollars. And for the Z setup here, uh, $32, 30 dollars for the bed, um, and seventy-five or eighty dollars for the Z access setup. Um, the only thing I did was to make it fit was I cut, took a hacksaw and cut this side so it would fit, smash together and hold this in place. Uh, and oh my, what a difference. It cuts so much faster. And and I mean, like right now, it will gouge into the, whatever your material is. It will eat it up. I mean, like like nobody's business right now. It'll just, And oh, one other thing. It's, the airflow is down. So it keeps your bit cool. And there's no smoke. Uh, like I'm like this this when I had it uh, uh, even at a slow feed rate this was burning and I had to uh, add water actually to the when I made this when I made this I had to keep adding water to it because it, it just was smoking away whereas this I I tried to add water but because it's uh, the the fan is right here at the very end at the bottom, it would just blow the water. The water would just blow off, and uh, it stayed nice and cool. And the, the I looked at the cutter afterwards, and it's it's still nice and sharp, and there's no uh, bluing. So the the fan on this trim router is really it, it and it, it'll blow chips. I used it on my kitchen floor because, uh, again, this didn't really push very many chips. It didn't make a mess. This, this thing made a huge mess. <laughs> so anyways, there's my, uh, there's my uh, product analysis, my idea. Uh, I haven't seen this. I've seen it on other routers, yes, and other setups, but not on a 3018. Um, I needed something that worked and this just came to me and I thought I was hoping that it worked. My biggest concern was this uh, clearance here. I didn't know when I set or when I bought all this, I didn't know if this was going to work or, you know, because it needs to go up and down and sure enough it did. So there you go. I'm just sharing, letting you know what's, what's going on, my experience and, uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. Eventually, I'll figure this out. But for now, the easiest thing for me to do is just simply go back to this stepper motor here. All right, there you have it. 
Have a great day.